Hello, good to have your company this evening. Businesses in Sheffield say they've been forced out of the city and are facing thousands of pounds in fines due to the clean air zone. Now, the zone came into effect just four months ago, and in the first month alone, almost 7,000 fines were issued by Sheffield City Council. So let's go back to basics. What exactly is a clean air zone? We currently have two in our region, in Sheffield and Bradford. Councils can choose to bring in a clean air zone in order to meet nitrogen dioxide targets set by the government. Certain vehicles, which are classed as producing high emissions, must pay to enter the zones. So who does it apply to in Sheffield? Well, people in their own car don't need to worry. It's larger vehicles, such as buses and HEVs and taxis, who have to pay. There are some exemptions, but in general, the charges are £50 a day for buses and HGVs, dropping to £10 a day for taxis and smaller vehicles. Mark Cancel has the story. Firing the ignition for another school trip and a whole lot of stress, not from the kids, but from the council, who are fining Kai despite his educational journeys being exempt from the clean air zone charges. These are fines one, two, three. He's had around £6,500 worth of fines since the clean air zone was introduced four months ago. I go home and you get five or six fines and you think, well, they're five or six fines that I've dealt with the other week, but then they come back and you look, you've got no reason why you've been sent back and they just double the fine. So you send that one back, you have to send it off, you print it out, print the email out. As I say, each fine's taking six, seven hours. Uh, then you've got to wait for your tribunal, your tribunal sends you an email back, you've got to respond to that. It's time I really haven't got and it's just coming to a point, it's just absolutely stressing me. And Kai, you've stopped doing those hen -dos you know, stag do's and nights out in the centre of Sheffield because of the clean air zone. I just don't want to do the weekend jobs anymore because basically it's too much hassle trying to explain to customers that it's going to be £50 to take them into town, £50 to pick them back up if it's at the midnight, and customers either just say, well, why should we pay that? And you're having to argue with the customers about why they should have to pay that, and they just simply don't want to be paying it. So it's either cancel the job or take them elsewhere. And this year so far, I've probably took 3,000 people out of Sheffield City Centre for the weekend and took them elsewhere because it saves them the clean air zone charge. There's only one way to access Sheffield Motorcycle Centre and it's via the inner ring road, which is just inside the clean air zone. They've lost two technicians as it was costing them 50 quid each a week in charges to drive their vehicles to work. They've obviously got vans that are less than Euro 6, don't want to change them because they're purpose built for their track days. So we've lost them to other dealers, which is a real shame because we've spent nine years uh, apprenticeships right the way through to making them fully fledged technicians. So that's been a massive impact. Frank, what do you want to see happen now? I want the council to recognise that small businesses, particularly ourselves, bring business to the centre. And what they're doing is that they're, they're making us consider, should we be here? We've never really had the support and I just wish that they would listen to us at least. I definitely think the inner ring road should be taken out of the cast. The latest figures show that in March this year, there were 15,000 journeys through the clean air zone where drivers had to pay. That generated £175,000 in charges and £35,000 in fines. The clean air zones, though controversial, are set to stay. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Sheffield.